My name is Ellie Ragosa of the Heritage Grain Conservancy. This poster carries us through the three stages from collecting and evaluating land race wheats, which is work that I've done for decades. And part of our research is to document what are the best methods to grow land race wheats, which are entirely different than conventional wheat production. We did, conducted replicated trials of different spacings from one seed per square foot, which is five pounds per acre, to the typical 75 to even 150 pounds per acre. And we found that at space, spacing of one seed per square foot, we got huge uh, plants, extensive tillering, and giant seed heads, as well as small runty seed heads. We found the optimal spacing for field production is eight inches between each seed. And we also found it was very important to conduct all your fertility inputs prior to planting so that spring top dressing is not appropriate for the deep-rooted land races. However, what we do is we cover crop at least one season before, till it in, or do a low till. And this is an example of an eight inch space land race wheat. So we recommend for field production eight inches and for breeding 12 inches. And this, this is a uh, field trials I conducted at the University of Massachusetts. I'm a farmer baker. I do research, but not as much as I do conduct trials and bake with and market the rare heritage wheats and bake with particularly einkorn. I have a partnership with Klaus Martens. When I, I trial hundreds of land raised wheats on my organic farm, and when I identify a superior variety and conduct my selection, I give Klaus the best handful of seeds and he multiplies and grows them on his 1,500 acre organic farm in upstate New York. And then Klaus markets to the New York City Green Market, which is coordinated by June Russell, the Grain Project of New York City. And June is amazingly required any baker in all of New York City selling in all their farmers markets to include at least 15% of locally grown grain. And she's actually increasing that. So thank you very much.